to explain. Ben. Hello to you both. Thanks very much. Yes, that's right. Britain's economy is bigger than previously estimated, and it's now 2.7% above its pre-crisis peak. That is all according to new figures. Well, the upgrade partly reflects changes in how the number is calculated. To bring the UK in line with other countries, new components have been added to that calculation, including, for the first time, illegal drugs and prostitution. We'll come to that in a moment. But overall, it tells us that the economy grew in the second quarter by 0.9%. That's up from earlier forecasts of 0.8%. So, to put this into a bit of context, this is where the economy currently stands. That is the state of play over the last uh, few years. From the depths of the recession in 2008, that patchy recovery taking us to that position where we are now. Growth since 2013 has been relatively consistent. And of course, it's hoped that this now paints a picture of an economy that is now more stable and steady than was first thought. So crucially, the question is where that growth is coming from. Well, this really does illustrate the strongest sector in our economy. It's the service sector, the driver of economic growth, growing in the last set of figures by 1.1%. Construction, well, it was up by 0.7%. Manufacturing by 0.5%. But agriculture, that actually shrank by 0.3%. All of that giving us that overall figure of 0.9%. Well, that's even more important if you look at the overall makeup of our entire economy. 78% of total GDP comes from the service sector. That's bars, restaurants, banks and shops. Manufacturing, also an important player, of course, at 15%, but it's still a far cry from that heyday of British manufacturing, accounting now for 15%, construction and agriculture making up the rest. But as we said, an important change today is that illegal drugs trade and prostitution that will be included in the figures for the first time. It's thought that drugs add £4.4 billion to the national economy. Prostitution adds £5.3 billion. That's around 0.7% of the entire economy, the same as the total agricultural sector. Well, the chief economist at the ONS...